There are some mathematical operators that you need to be aware of that we use fairly often to solve sort of programming problems. I'm going to cover them. Don't be put off by the term sort of operator. I'm going to give you an example of what exactly an operator is because you use them all the time. Let's say in maths you've got uh, 4 plus 3, uh, you've got, I don't know, uh, 6 minus 2, um, 1 times by 9. The operator is the sign, okay? So like a plus or a minus, or in this case, multiply, or really if I'm doing it for doing a proper computer science multiply, it should be that asterisk there, because that's how we do multiplication in computer science. Um, and we can have a different operator. We can actually use like a small word here, and you'll see what I mean in a moment. Let's do, uh, let's do seven mod four, okay? A mod here is an operator. It is between those two numbers and it performs some sort of function between the numbers to get a result. A mod st stands for, uh, is short for rather, modulus. And we're getting an example of um, just what a modulus um, operation is. So let's have, uh, well, let's do this one, okay, seven mod four. What does that actually mean? Well, it gives you the remainder of the division between seven and four. And to, for an example of this, I'm gonna take you right back to primary school and you probably learnt um, division something like this. If I had seven suites, so let's do suites as little circles here, and I had four people, how many uh, suites would each individual person get? But importantly for this particular problem, how many are left over? And, and so let's give a quick example. I've got four stickmen here, four people. So uh, they get a suite, they get a suite, they get a suite, they get a suite. So we get rid of these suites here. So the remainder is three, it's these suites here. So seven mod four equals three. See, because that's how many is left over. And it wouldn't really matter if this was like 11 mod four. So if I did 11 mod four, for example, um, that would also equal three because I've got, well, each person would get two sweeties each, but I'll end up with three seats, uh, three suites left over. How this is particularly useful sometimes is if I want to see if a, a number is a multiple of another number. So if I have eight mod four, and let's do, well, let's do four mod four, you'll notice the results of both of them is zero, and that can be a useful trick for us. So we can put that into an if statement. So if something mod four, for example, equals zero, uh, then we know that it's a, multi it's a multiple of that number. All right, so that's modulus. Div is, I kind of think of it as like kind of the opposite of mod. So it's the number of times you can divide a number by another, but then just completely ignoring the remainder. So in this example, we had seven um, div four, so we had seven mod four that equals three, seven div four, well that equals one because each person down here uh, got one suite each, makes sense? But if I did 11 div four, um, then we get the idea that everyone would be getting two sweeties each and each and there'd be a, a, a remainder. So this is just simple, simply the uh, number of times a number would divide into another one wholly and then you ignore any sort of remainder. Okay, the last mathematical operator we need to worry about is this funny little sign. Let's do, let's make it easy for me. Um, two, uh, and then we do this funny little sign, three. And that just basically is the exponent or you might know it as to the power of, so two to the power of three, that would equal, well, it's gonna be two times two times two, um, which was, is eight in this example, whoops, not three there, uh, which is eight in this example. And likewise, if I did, I don't know what, five to the power of two, um, like that, that's the symbol that we use in computer science, like I say, then that is five times five, uh, which equals uh, 25. That's not two, that's meant to be five. Five times five, and that equals 25. Uh, so that's, they're fairly straightforward, I think, mathematical operators. You've got uh, mod, you've got div, and you've got this one here, which obviously is just a symbol that you need to remember. The other thing that I'll cover very briefly is comparison operators, okay? So let me do that in a little different color. So comparison operators. And again, you'll be very familiar with these um, in maths. So let's have, give you an example. I've got, uh, let's do this, four, and then this symbol, three. So I've got four greater than three. And these are um, these usually evaluate to either true or false. So is four greater than three? Well, that equals true. Yes, four is greater than three. Um, let's do the reverse of that. Is four less than three? Well, no, four is not less than three. So that is gonna equal false. And that's, that's what usually happens. The thing we've gotta be careful of is when we do this, four greater than um, four, okay? So it's four greater than four, 
No, it's not. 4 is not greater than 4. 4 is equal to 4. So that would equal false. That can catch a lot of people out all the time. Um, what you may have, though, is a slightly different operator like this, is 4 greater than or equal to 4. Well, in that case, that equals true. Okay, So there you can comparison operators as well. And they're your main operators that you'll come across in computer science. If you found that video useful, please hit the like button and hit subscribe to the channel. Keep learning and revising more computer science by clicking on the videos linked here.